if you're under 18, how you are charged may be more important than what you're charged with. It's very significant whether you're charged as an adult or a juvenile because if you're charged as an adult, you could go away, you could go away for life if it's murder, for example. If you're charged as a juvenile, then you are not even found guilty of a crime. You are adjudicated as a delinquent. I handled one case, I remember, where a 16-year-old had killed his father, bludgeoned him to death with a hammer in cold blood. He was charged as a juvenile, spent a couple of years in psychiatric treatment, and his 18th birthday present was freedom. And in many jurisdictions, you can't go away for more than until you're age 18 or age 21, regardless of what you did, because you were a child who was delinquent, who needs to be rehabilitated. If you're charged with something and you're under 18, then you want a lawyer who can try to get you in juvenile court and not in adult court because it makes all the difference in the world. They would actually try the case the same way in both courts. It's just that in the criminal court, you're going to be sentenced, which is probably going to be to time in prison. However, if you're in a juvenile court, instead of the judge finding you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, the judge would find beyond a reasonable doubt that you're a delinquent. You're considered a naughty child. You're considered a child who needs rehabilitation because you were delinquent. You were naughty, but you do not get a criminal record.